Welcome back everybody. Tonight we are working on this Maxi LS. It came back because it stopped running. Uh, the owner said he was riding it and it just shut off on him and he couldn't get it started again. So we're going to check it for spark, we're going to check it for compression, and we're going to check it for gas. We're going to see what we can find out. I'm going to start by removing the flywheel cover. Check for fuel. Okay, open up the petcock. We, we got plenty of fuel. There could be an issue in the carb with fuel, but I can check that later. I want to check for spark, and there's a couple ways to do this. First way, which is pretty easy, is you get a fancy little tool like this, plug it in, and this little thing will spark if you got spark. Make sure their kill switch is off. And we got spark. Another way to check the spark is put the spark plug against the head and then spin it, and you can watch the spark plug. See if it sparks. We got spark. Now to check for compression, you can just put your thumb over the hole and see if it pops your thumb off. It did not pop my thumb off. Another way to check for compression is to use a little gauge. Just stick it in the hole. This is a really handy, simple one. I got nothing. All right, this thing has no compression. There's no compression, so that is the issue. That means we gotta take off the head and cylinder and see what's up. First thing to do is remove the carburetor and the fuel line. Okay. Set these aside. Pull that up so it's out of the way. Now we need to remove the exhaust. Normally I would use my T-handles, but they're in the house because I'm doing some remodeling. I took the nut off the back, but I'm actually going to leave the bolt through it to support the exhaust while I take off the header. There's one. There's two. The exhaust should come right off. Okay. Now I have to take off the head. Now we can take off the head. The head looks good. It's the O-ring head. O-ring is still intact. So that's good. Cylinder looks okay. You can pull this off. Oh, there we go. So the ring cracked right in half. All right. The cylinder bore and the piston are in great condition, so all we have to do is put a new ring in and we can get this back on the road. Thank you guys for being part of this diagnosis. We checked the spark, the compression, the fuel. Turned out it didn't have compression, so I pulled the head. Turned out the ring was bad. Now I just need to order a new ring and install it and we can get this back on the road. Stay tuned everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe.